guys, this is kind of a little change of pace and I'm not sure if you guys want to watch the video or not acting stupid or silly <laughs> or embarrassing because <laughs> let's face it, it's really easy for me to be embarrassing. So apologies to the people ahead of time who haven't seen the Anohana series and they don't want to be spoiled by it and don't watch this video. Let me know if you guys in particular would prefer that I include a regular non-spoiling review video along these series ending videos and I'll just move stuff around in my schedule to make things work. But today I'm doing a series ending reaction and since Anohana was a pretty serious anime, I'm not sure if I can fit in a lot of silliness in here. I know Anohana had ended a while ago and there's already been a lot of videos out there for series ending reaction. But when the series ended, one of you requested that I do this video and I thought it would be a good idea but it really took a while for me to kind of to kind of organize my thoughts because I'm slow like that. So just a warning now, this is a series ending reaction. So if you haven't seen the entire series, just turn it off, watch the rest of the series and watch this later, or just don't watch this. There will be spoilers in this, so turn it off now if you don't want to be spoiled and you haven't seen the series. So I know a lot of you guys don't think that the series is very sad and some of you guys think that the series is very sad. So there's like two different types of audiences and I think both views are okay. I'm just gonna warn you now, I'm part of the audience that thought that this was very sad. I was very affected by the stuff that the characters went through. And if you weren't, that's totally okay. But I'm just going to explain why I think that the second audience, the audience that I'm in, and why we're very affected by what had happened. This is just totally my opinion. You don't have to agree. The reason why I think a lot of people were affected by this series is because I think the things that the characters were going through may have struck a chord in other people. And I'm just not talking about the people who have experienced loss, a death in either their family or in their really close friends. I think this also affects the people that may realize that they may have been stuck because of this one point of their life. And I think that's kind of what happened to all of the characters. They're just not upset about the death of Minma but they're also upset that they realize all five of their lives have stopped, literally stopped. Inside, they have not been able to move on. So physically, they are older and they look like they're stronger, but they're not because of this thing that happened to them and things that they couldn't get over when they were children. And I think that happens to us a lot as adults, like even well into, let's say, your late 20s or late 30s, even late 40s. And then when you're in your late 50s and so on, they just kind of write you off as this kooky old person. Things that happen to us when we are children. Of course, we don't think about it at the time because when we're children, a lot of us are a little overconfident, a little too cocky, you know, looking up at the adults and being like, don't patronize me, I understand more than you think. And which is true most of the time, but in times of trauma or serious things that had happened that are sometimes beyond the comprehension of a person that age. They might not be affected as much at the time, but later when they get older and they begin to realize and understand more about what happened, and then so that's really when it affects them. Child experts say that you shouldn't get too angry at children who are crying in order to heal themselves. What I mean by that is that there are children that are crying just to try and, I guess some people think like, oh, they're just cry trying to get something. I think that's a different type of crying than what I'm talking about. There's actually been scientific studies that have proven that young children who do cry, that's actually a healing mechanism for them. Their body actually relaxes more. There's less stress hormones found in their bloodstream. It is really healthy for them to just cry it out. And that's different to letting them cry out alone in the corner by themselves in shame. And so at the end, it wasn't just important that Jintan cried, but that they all cried together. Because I guess there was a lot of shame that each of the characters felt and the fact that they can experience that shame together. For a lot of people, it really is self-empowering to know that others might be going through the same thing that you are. Because I believe the less alone that you feel sometimes, it can help you kind of help yourself to move on from any incident that may have been that traumatic for you as it was for these characters. Now, as for my own personal reactions to certain scenes from this series, a lot of you guys started crying at the very end. I actually started to get affected starting episode 8, the episode where Minma's mom, where she actually admits that she was deeply affected by this in a very negative way to the children. It was obvious he wasn't really angry at the children. It's probably like displaced anger. Like she's angry about what happens but probably didn't know any other healthy way to vent it so it just kind of got put upon them. I can't imagine any parent that has a very healthy relationship with their child and what I mean by relationship is that it goes both ways. Obviously none of them was attached to her mom or mom was attached to her. And any parent like that, how they must feel to lose a child. Originally most of you guys were from my other channel but a lot of people missed that on my other channel too. I am a parent. My little one is still very small but when I saw episode 8 I just immediately thought about the unthinkable and that really affected me. <laughs> I'm getting all teary, gonna ruin my makeup. So yeah, that's my two cents. And if you guys aren't tired enough of doing this already, tell me what you think in the comments and then maybe we can have more of a conversation. Peace out.